Have you ever needed to take a list of items stored in a row or column and convert them into a single cell with each item separated by a comma? No, me neither. But sometimes it's good to learn about what Excel can do, even if it's not directly relevant to what you need to do. Or we could look at it another way. Mike, what's this array to text function? And yes, that is something I've been asked occasionally on courses. And then it's down to you to decide whether or not it's useful. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice file from the link in the description below. So here I have 10 email addresses in 10 separate cells. I need to combine them into a single string in a single cell with each one separated by a comma and a space. Why? Well, maybe I need to copy them into the to field in my email client, which unlike Outlook, won't accept a copied column of email addresses. So in C1, I'll type equals array to text, and I will select the range A1 to A10. Close the brackets and enter. And what I've got in there is the 10 email addresses separated by a comma and a space. I'm going to make column C a little bit wider. I'm also going to turn on wrap text. And I'm only doing that for the demo, just so that you can see the result without me having to scroll off screen. You don't have to do that in reality. For the second demo, here I have 10 postal addresses and I need to combine each one into a single cell with comma space separating each element of the address. So in E1, I'll put equals array to text and select A1 to C1 and close the brackets. Enter that in and that does it for the first one. I'll just widen column E and copy that down. And now I've got exactly what I need. You can also combine array to text with other functions. So here's a list of sales transactions for a fictitious company that sells chocolate and candy bars. I need a comma separated list of all the product names. I need the product names to be in uppercase. I need it to ignore the duplicates and I need the list to be sorted alphabetically. So in D1, if I put array to text, open brackets, and select A2 to A26, because those are the cells that contain the product names, close brackets and enter. I know I've not got what I want, but I'm doing this step by step. But what I have is a list of all the values in column A separated by a comma space. I'll edit the formula, keep the array to text in, but after the open brackets, I'll put unique open brackets, and I'll need another close bracket at the end. So what that tells Excel to do is to pick out one instance of each item in A2 to A26 and combine them together into one string. But they're still not sorted alphabetically. So I'll edit the cell again. And after the array to text, open brackets, I'll add in the sort function. So sort, open brackets, close brackets. What that does is it extracts one instance of each item in A2 to A26. That's what the unique does. It sorts it alphabetically, and then it combines it into one string. And finally, I want to convert the result into uppercase. So I'll edit the formula again. And after the array to text, open brackets, I'll use the upper function, open brackets, close brackets. So that picks out one instance of each item in column A, sorts it alphabetically, converts it to uppercase, and then takes the result and puts it into one cell separated by comma space. So that's it, a few examples of the array to text function. Let me know in the comments if that's something you could use or whether it's a thanks, but no thanks. I hope the video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up.
And if you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, please check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.